Welcome back to GDT Tech Reviews. In this video we are going to do a detailed review and pick the top 5 best Bluetooth speakers 2022. So let us get started and the review based on our studies and small research. If you have any personal suggestion do let us know in the comment section. If you are for the first time don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more videos. We will be also providing affiliates link to purchase from Amazon. Kindly use to for best offers and purchase from anywhere in the world. So let's get started. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 is a colorful speaker with a carrying strap so that you can take it with you on the go. It's rated IP67 for dust and water resistance and has an outdoor EQ mode to help boost its bass performance, although we don't currently test for either feature. However, it doesn't get very loud and it really lacks low bass out of the box. It also has high latency on Android as well as iOS and it doesn't support voice assistance. Still, this sturdy and lightweight speaker is a suitable choice if you want to listen to audio outdoors. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 is good for outdoor use. This portable speaker has a great build quality with an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance. Its battery lasts just under 13 hours continuously, and it has an outdoor EQ mode, which is advertised to help bass reproduction, even though we don't currently test for this. Unfortunately, it doesn't get very loud. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 is made from two-tone knit fabric and comes in several colors, so you can find one that best matches your style. It has very large and visible volume up and down buttons on its front face, which some users may find less than aesthetically pleasing. There's also a matching fabric handle. The Ultimate Ears Wonderbroom 2 has a fantastic build quality. The Marshall Inburton Portable Bluetooth Speaker is a small speaker designed for listening to music. Its balanced mid and treble ranges help reproduce clear and present vocals and lead instruments, and there's a bit of extra boom and warmth in the bass range, making it suitable for lots of different audio content. That said, like many of the small speakers we've tested, it struggles to reproduce a thumpy low bass, making it less than ideal for bass-heavy music genres like hip-hop or EDM. It doesn't offer any sound customization options, either. However, it's very portable, and it has an IPX7 rating for water resistance that certifies it to be immersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. The Marshall Inburton is fair for music. This stereo speaker has an amazing soundstage, so you feel immersed in your favorite songs. Its balanced mid and treble ranges help reproduce clear and present vocals and lead instruments, and there's a touch of extra boom and warmth in the bass range. Unfortunately, like most small speakers, it lacks a thumpy and rumbling low bass. There aren't any sound customization options, and it doesn't get very loud, either. The Marshall Inburton is a small rectangular speaker with a design similar to Marshall's guitar amplifiers. Plastic grills protect its drivers on the front and back of the speaker, with Marshall's distinctive company logo on them. You can find this speaker in black, black and brasses, cream and forest. The Marshall Inburton has a decent build quality. There's a silicone cover that wraps around most of the speaker and a plastic grill that covers the front and the rear. It's also rated IPX7 for water resistance, meaning it's certified to be immersible in up to a meter of water for 30 minutes. The Go Duos are independently positionable, magnetic and versatile, meaning they can be pulled apart from their magnetic attachment and used independently. They feature a unique 4-in-1 design, so they can be bundled together and sealed in the splash-proof silicon soft cover, available in black, gray and red, or positioned separately and utilized as desk speakers. The Go Duo speakers feature a Bluetooth range of up to 10 meters, and blow out 5 watts of output from each speaker. They are loud, but crisp and clear. They also have a built-in subwoofer to enhance the bass and deliver rich accurate thumps, almost defying the laws of physics due to the Go Duo's small size. The speakers themselves were tuned by the former director of acoustic engineering of Philips. And while they're wireless, each speaker has a headphone jack that allows quick wired hookup to your portable device without pairing via Bluetooth. As mentioned, these speakers can work independently. Pull them apart and use one by itself for true portability. When they are reattached using the magnet, they intuitively know to sync together to offer killer stereo sound. 
The Geo Duo speakers can fit conveniently in a bicycle's water bottle holder, fastened to a backpack with a carabiner, or can be carried using the attached hanging ring on the rubber sleeve. The JBL Extreme 3 portable Bluetooth speaker is a medium-sized speaker with built-in hooks so that you can attach its carrying strap to it. Its carrying strap also has a built-in bottle opener, so you can enjoy drinks while listening to your favorite tunes. It's well-built with an IP67 rating for dust and water resistance that certifies it to be dust-tight and immersible in up to a meter of water for up to 30 minutes. It has a warm sound profile with a balanced mid-range that ensures vocals and lead instruments sound clear and present in the mix, though they can sound a bit dark at times. Unfortunately, it lacks a thumpy and rumbling low bass, which may disappoint some fans of bass-heavy music like hip-hop or EDM. The JBL Extreme 3 All Right for Music It has a warm sound profile with a neutral mid-range, so vocals are fairly clear and accurate. However, it struggles to reproduce low bass, and its treble is underemphasized, so the upper harmonics of voices and instruments sound veiled. Fortunately, there's a graphic EQ in its companion app which you can use to customize its sound profile to your liking, though it might not be enough to create a thumpy low bass. The Micro 2 measures 4 by 1.7 inches, WXH, and houses a single 1.75 inch speaker. The 4,700 mAh battery delivers around 10 hours of sound from the 10 watt amp, and takes 2.5 hours to charge. On the front of the Micro 2 are the power and Bluetooth pairing buttons, indicator lights, power slash battery level, mic pinhole, and one end of the captive rubberized strap, which can be used to hang the unit from your handlebar, backpack strap, or whatever else you have handy. A speaker port on the bottom of the housing adds some oomph to the sound. Treebit says the Micro 2 is IP67 rated, meaning it should be able to resist intrusion of particulate matter and survive in 3.3 feet of water for 30 minutes. Given the IP rating, you might be surprised by the bare USB Type-C charging port on the right side of the speaker, a USB-C to USB-C charging cable is included in the box. While most water-resistant speakers cover the USB-C port, I have seen them open before in weatherized speakers. Residing on the fabric-covered top of the speaker are the three main controls, lower volume, multifunction, pause, play, next, previous, Siri, answer, reject, and switch calls, and raise volume. I can usually, if not always, tell how a speaker is going to sound simply from its startup tones. The Micro 2's dulcet tones were promising, indicating that the $10 increase in price over its predecessor was likely money well spent. Of course, said tones are monophonic, which limited my joy, but that's par for the course in this form factor. For a mono speaker, the Micro 2 rendered my suite of test tunes, everything from movie tracks, to heavy metal, to hip-hop, very well. There's decent clarity, high and high mid-frequencies, and good delineation of instruments and voices.